one at like Delbert on one sleeve and Barley on the other. Oh, let's Bar- do that. Bar- Bar- Hi, I'm Kimu Meyer and I'm Chris Heisenberg and uh, you're at the 255 Studio on Elizabeth Street in New York um, and we're showing you our baseball residency. Kimu and I um, became partners this year. Um, uh, in our brand Nomas, and uh, we were invited by Nike for first to, to come and kind of create graphics for our residency. And then once they discovered that both of us are like weird vintage freaks that were totally into the idea of this space and the machines, and um, it kind of grew into more of a partnership. So tell me about some of the, uh, the memorabilia here. Well, these photos, for example, um, were taken in Santiago, Dominican Republic. It's pretty much just like a, a little league field outside, and that's part of what inspired the name of the kind of store during this period, Hogar y Visitantes, like uh, home and visitors or home in a way. Um, they just had this these very cool kind of like hand-painted uh, Hogar and Visitantes on the dugout, and um, these kids with uh, big eyed baseball dreams. You just you can see in them um, kind of how important baseball is to, to the DR. Um, and the scoreboard in back is actually a replica of a scoreboard that was in Santiago de Cuba. Um, so there's like, you know, the two big Latin baseball. Poles, I guess, like uh, DR and Cuba, well represented. Like I'm from Switzerland, which is definitely not a baseball country, <laughs> but I came here 10 years ago and um, quickly I developed a, a huge passion of like, going in like trip shop and like being exposed to that entire new world that was really new compared to like the Swiss shop graphic design. And uh, I was buying like anywhere I go, like the most random baseball t-shirt without having any idea what it was, but I just knew there was something really authentic about it. And one day we met at like a park uh, and we bumped into each other and I was wearing one of his t-shirts and we started like to engage a conversation and he knew so much about the sport that we, we started to really vibe off of that. And uh, I think this is a big and a good representation of like, that kind of blend of mindset between his really like knowledge of the sport and my passion and my, uh, my attention to that aesthetic because I start to really walk uh, through the different company I work uh, with to be specialized in that like, kind of varsity aesthetic. And our goal here was to kind of replicate like a, a vintage store like it used to be in the 50s or in the 60s around Brooklyn and the Bronx and that's something that kind of disappeared so when Nike uh, you know like invite us to like participate to this exciting project it was like a playground for us we have like all those machines we ever dreamed to, to have we have amazing staff that can actually like put the stuff together and execute our vision and then, you know, like that was the beauty of that space is like we came here and we, we, we replicate some of our old like, you know, pools from like old books and stuff. And we have everything here to actually create from scratch, like stuff that looks like 50s and 60s memory. Coaches, especially like a coach or an athletic director is going to get a catalog to show them like how their uniform is going to be for the year or, their, or the phys ed shirt or you know these are the fonts that you can choose from this is this is the uh, you know the mascots that you can have you can have uh, a script underline you can put your numbers here the idea of the tattoo parlor came up too or like you want a rose on your arm or you want like an anchor tattoo or something but you don't exactly know how you want it so this wall is kind of like a three dimensional mood board of all the possibilities and then to our friend Adam, who is kind of like our resident like design director, who would guide the client to, to, to basically like get a vibe of the person. Some really know what they want and some are just like, this is amazing, what can I do from it? So basically you you know you come here and you have like three options. You can buy something as you see in the store, like in any sports goods store, and then you can personalize it. You see something you like but you want to change like the name of the city or like the name of your team. Or you can do bespoke or like we close the store, you come with your sketch and your idea and we do a full on like custom piece 
whether it's a hoodie, t-shirt, and that's that's part of why we made you know the sign on the window say ready-made and custom sportswear to emphasize that it still is a shop. You know, it, it isn't only a laboratory. It's like you can come in here if you like that one right there in that size. Like you could just take it to the register and then leave. Or if you like the idea of Brooklyn against the world, except you're from Queens, like you can switch it up. Um, and then if you're really all the way into it, then you can do whatever you want.